in the future, with all this blockchain technology and all, we will be able to track the smallest piece of something that normally you'd have to buy in its entirety, and track as many of those pieces and those what own them with absolute precision. Why, I could probably sell you just a small bite of a sandwich if I wanted to. And you'd love it. This is Boschlet. Good morning, I'm Kurt Balderdash, and this is Boschlet, your bi-weekly business and technology podcast that can travel at twice the speed of light in half the time. But first, here's what's frosting our flakes today. About 1,000 miles off the coast of Spain in the Atlantic Ocean, a cargo ship full of expensive German cars is floating out of control and on fire. So far, no cause for the blaze has been determined, but a logistics company spokesperson, Lucy Tania, has denied rumors that the cargo included weapons and ammunition bound for Canada to assist the Trudeau government. NFT art continues to be a huge seller without anyone clearly understanding why. Usually it's a set of images that are offered for sale by some person with a large following on social media of people who have a severe case of FOMO and an excessive amount of money. 40 Starlink satellites kissed by a geomagnetic storm fell from their low Earth orbits and presumably vaporized just days after their launch. Professional astronomer Zach Horkheimer was quoted as saying, Normally those Starlink satellites just ruin our deep sky photographs. Tonight, it was actually a beautiful thing to see, and there was much rejoicing. The White House is preparing to release a vague government-wide strategy on digital assets, which includes cryptocurrencies. The strategy is being drafted as an executive order, so there can be no public debate over what will surely be something ill-conceived and damaging. Some people are concerned that the U.S. is falling behind other countries like China in their development of a central bank digital currency, especially those that want a trackable currency that can be used to monitor everything people buy and could have the power to deny transactions for whatever reason the state has. And in similar news, China pushes its digital currency at the 2022 Beijing Genocide Games. The ECNY, or Yuan, you were the chosen one! It was said that you would destroy this and not join them! Not that, Yuan. Is a blockchain-based digital currency set up by the Chinese Communist Party, which means they can monitor every transaction and either approve or deny the transaction or use it as evidence against you when they throw you in jail for buying a Twinkie. The share price for Meta, formerly Facebook, formerly a company that mattered, is now down 40% from its 52-week high. In a single day earlier this month, their stock price plummeted 26%. With Boschlit Business News, I'm Anita Martini. Meta is having a tough time of it lately. From changes to Apple's mobile operating systems preventing some mechanisms that assist Facebook advertising, to TikTok eating their lunch, to diminished brand trust, to decreasing participation numbers, and a pedophile sex sting operation catching a Facebook executive, Facebook is increasingly seen as past its prime. However, Meta, Facebook's parent company, continues to spend gobs of money on their metaverse plans. The company is changing its internal slogan from move fast and break things to meta, metamates, me. One interpretation could be that employees should first think of the company, then their fellow employees, then finally themselves. This would certainly be consistent with hierarchical systems like monarchies and the Chinese government. One embarrassing aspect is not being referred as an employee, but as a metamate. It almost sounds like some form of dystopian reference to a human worker unit, or possibly a prize that comes in a happy meal. I conducted an informal and unscientific poll with metamates, and found that only 14% of respondents said they knew what meta means, and of those, half thought it was a brand of cereal.
A number of large tech companies have announced mergers for this quarter. Among them are Swiss company Lackoven will acquire tech firm Genuity and become Lackoven Ingenuity. Boat building company Ensign Nautical is merging with F.E. Kant, a supplier of marine parts, and will become insignificant. VA Linux is looking at purchasing the small IT software management company Porware to emerge as VA Porware. And finally, in a huge three way merger, Indian mega company Tota is buying New York advertising firm Lee Errol and Maryland based Levant Ad Systems and becoming transnational mega company Totally Irrelevant Ads. Frankel. And now, travel with Perspicutch and Fog. Travel with Perspicutch and Fog, international travel reporter. Greetings from Venezuela. This week I'm at the beacon of Maracaibo in northern Venezuela. Known as the lightning capital of the world, Lake Maracaibo receives a lightning strike on average 28 times every minute. For centuries, sailors would use the constant lightning as a beacon for navigation. Lightning needs heat, humidity, and lots of wind. The Andes Mountains surround the lake and creates the unique atmospheric conditions for this much lightning to happen. Lake water evaporates and eastern winds push the warm air towards the cold air of the mountains, creating lofty cumulonimbus clouds. The continual collision of ice crystals and water droplets from the humidity creates a static charge in the clouds which eventually forms the stunning light show. The energy of a single lightning bolt is enough to power over 100 million light bulbs and its heat is said to be five times hotter than the sun's surface and is visible over 250 miles away. Let's see if we can get a closer look. Wow, did you see that? This is amazing. I gotta get my selfie stick out here. Here we go. Ah. Yay! Shocking. Ugh. Who writes this stuff? Shining the light of truth on the wretched hive of scum and villainy. This is Boschlit. Have you ever wanted a high-priced item but know you could probably never afford it, and credit cards wouldn't begin to cover it? With Boschlit Business News, I'm Peter Dongle. Fractional ownership is when something that is normally sold as a whole, but whose ownership is instead split up into multiple pieces, and those pieces are then sold individually. Stocks are an example, along with condominiums in undesirable parts of the world. The key is how those pieces are divided, and what rules, if any, governs the relationship among the owners. In recent years, expensive items such as aircraft have been given the fractionalization treatment, where you can buy one sixteenth of an airplane, as an example. What was normally beyond the reach of many is now attainable, if only in part. Adrian Zwall has bigger plans. He wants to extend fractional ownership to more things. He wants to see everything from motorcycles to entire cities fractionally owned. My vision is to turn ownership as we know it inside out and upside down. In theory, there isn't anything that couldn't be fractionally owned. How can this all be managed? Well, it'll all be on the blockchain, won't it? The management is through a DAO, a Decentralized Autonomous Organization, and smart contracts administer the whole ruddy thing. You own a quarter of a car, a tenth of a house, and a hundred thousandth of a small city. There's no limit. I don't know about you, Sonny Jim, but I like it. I like it a lot. But what about the practical use of these things? How do you use a tenth of a house? Well, it'll be up to the owners. 
It depends on the purpose of the ownership, personal or profit. In the case of the house, well, they'd wind up leasing the property, probably, and one-tenth owner gets one-tenth of the rent. If you own a quarter of a motorcycle, well, maybe you share it throughout the month, like <laughs> custody of the kids. Personal use or profit, that's the ticket. That's extraordinary. I hadn't thought about it like that before. I'm starting to wonder if I have a fever or something. Nah, you're just giddy because you get it, that's all. It's a heady concept. Pretty rarefied air up here, eh? Mm, is that it? In the future, with all this blockchain technology and all, we will be able to track the smallest piece of something that normally you'd have to buy in its entirety and track as many of those pieces and those what own them with absolute precision. Why, I could probably sell you just a small bite of a sandwich if I wanted to. And you'd love it. Not likely. Yeah, next what we're thinking is people. People. Celebrities that have incorporated themselves could also work like this. Celebrities like Adele or Dwayne Johnson. Think of it. You could get a piece of the rock. Thank you, Adrian Zwall. And finally, bankrupt Hertz Rental Car has a legal problem. Every year, they believe several thousand people don't return their cars. As a matter of course, they contact the local law enforcement agency where the car was rented, and they issue a warrant. The problem is, many of those are totally bogus. People who rented months or years in the past that returned their cars are being arrested and extradited for grand theft auto. Despite people proving they returned their rentals, grand juries are indicting people without regard to evidence. This will undoubtedly open local district attorneys to civil action, but also hurts, which is aware of the problem but seemingly doesn't care. In previous decades, Hertz' slogan was number one. Today they seem more like number two. That's all for now. Join us again next time. Different day, same Boschland.